Okay, getting my screen set up. <clears throat> Hello everyone, it's me, it's Mark, and I'm here with you for another live stream class. Yay! Before I do anything, I need to know if you can see me and hear me. If you can see me and hear me, please say yes in the chat so I know everything is a-okay. <clears throat> if you can see me, if you can hear me, please say yes in the chat so I know everything is a okay all right Le Kao I'm not sure how to say your name Le Kao thank you for saying yes Kadeen is here hello Kadeen thank you Alice thank you and I'm happy to see you because without you there's no reason for me to be here so thank you for being here Nidan says yes thank you Nidan all right well, um, you know what we do. We always have a toast to start our class. We have a toast for good luck, yeah? So whatever you're drinking, pick it up. I have coffee, yes I do. And I will toast with coffee and we will have two toasts. Yes, two toasts. Our first toast is for the green team, yes. They support me, they support the channel. By supporting me and the channel, they are supporting everyone. You see them, their names are in green. So let's give the green team a big thank you. Thank you. If you don't have a beverage, we can fist bump. Bump, cheers, bump, cheers. And because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. So bottoms up. Mm. Our second toast is for you. Yes, without you, there's no reason for me to be here. So let's toast to you. Let's toast to a fun, interesting, informative, and productive lesson today. Cheers, bump, cheers, bump. And because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. Bottoms up. Mm. Okay, great, great, great. Okay, cow. Okay, great. All right, so Cao, do you live in Vietnam or in the USA? Okay, great, great. Well, let's talk. Nora, hello, Nora. Marta is here. Marta, Olga's here. Susan's here. Okay, good, good. More and more people are coming into the chat. That's fantastic. Okay, okay. Cao, you live in Vietnam. Okay, I live in Japan, so we're pretty close, yeah. <laughs> Um, about the chat, only subscribers can enter the chat. I do that to keep the bots out, to keep the spamming out, so we have a safe and fun place to practice English together. So if you want to join us in the chat, please subscribe to my channel. I do that. Now, only subscribers, I do that, and that keeps the bots out to keep the spamming out, so we have a fun, safe place to practice English together. So if you want to enter the chat, please subscribe. Okay, good, good, good. Tran, hello. Umesh is here. Hello. Bella's here. Okay, great, great. I'm very happy to see you all. And here is today's lesson plan. Oh, okay, Cal, I understand. Okay, great, great. Oh, okay, Cal, I saw your, okay, real quick, okay, Cal, I saw your message, I was going to email you soon, sorry, sorry, um, my, my books are Amazon.com, and there's a link for it, so Cal, just go Google Amazon.com, I'm not sure if they're, where they're printed from, like, um, where they're shipped from, but, um, please, Go to Amazon.com, and then you will see um, how you can do it. But it's very easy. They they print it. They print the books and deliver them to you. I don't deliver them. Amazon.com does that. Okay, so um, please check it out. Thank you so much for your kind support. Mwah. Okay, let's talk about today's lesson plan. We're going to um, form a sentence. I will write a pattern on the board, and then you will write sentences 
based on that pattern, yeah? So lots of practice for you. We will do a conversation from my book, book two. Okay, Cal, so today we're gonna practice a conversation from my book. <clears throat> then we will do, we'll practice idiom, the idiom first rate, and there's a worksheet, and the, we have sentences um, based on, well, examples done by the green team, and then we will watch a video, 10 very short conversations, and practice those short conversations together, okay? So, um, are you ready to practice? Yes? Okay, good, let's do it. Air Lady's here, hello, Air Lady. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Via uh, Zoo is here, hello, Via. Okay, good, Cal, yeah, so just, there's a link if you, under the video, there's a link to the books, yeah? And there you could check them out, there's example pages. But today we're going to do a example from the book, okay? <clears throat> okay, let's go ahead and do form a sentence. So I'm gonna write them on, I'm gonna write the pattern on the board so we can practice together. This is our first activity, form a sentence and the pattern is which and then put the word in would you like <clears throat> which mm, would you like which mm, would you like and then maybe the reply would be, I like, whoops. I like, now we're gonna practice with a menu. So usually we say the, okay? So <clears throat> we're, we're gonna practice with a menu, okay? I will show you a menu very soon <clears throat> and um, so this would be like a waiter or a server and they would ask you um, which for example which soup would you like and you'd say oh I like the onion soup or I would like the tomato soup so you have a choice on the menu the server asks you which burger would you like which salad would you like which soup would you like <laughs> <clears throat> which entree would you like, and so forth, and you would say, I like the, and then um, what you want. So we're gonna practice. First, let's look at a menu, okay? Let's look at a menu so we can have a better idea, and then you could um, tell me which mm, you would like. Okay, so let's look at the menu. <laughs> There's the menu right there. Let's make it large so we can see okay we have to make it very large <laughs> hold on we're going to start with appetizers so papas is a hawaiian name for appetizers okay so um which puppets would you like and so we have grilled artichoke quesadilla so like maybe example which quesadilla would you like? Oh, I would like the guacamole quesadilla. I would like the cheese quesadilla. I would like the chicken quesadilla, okay? Hold on, I'm gonna make it larger, hold on. Hold on, we're gonna make it larger. Okay, and, and so, okay, so like quesadillas. We have a choice of quesadillas, right? Guacamole. We have cheese, we have chicken, shrimp, or fish quesadilla, right? So which quesadilla would you like? Uh, what's, okay, soup of the day, which soup of the day would you like? Um, we have, let's see, hmm. Okay, I, I, I think salad is probably easier for us to do. More choices here. 
Okay, so um, which salad would you like? So we have um, we have dinner salad. We have a large house salad. We have a tuna salad. We have a Chinese chicken salad. So which salad would you like? Which salad would you like? Let's start with that. So in the chat, please tell me which salad. So, okay, so which salad would you like? Oh, okay, quesadilla, ne? Okay, Air Lady likes um, sour cream. I do too. Oh, oh, oh Trent, the, the menu's blurred. Okay, good, good. Okay, Kadeen, which salad would you like? I'd like the tuna salad, please. Very good, Kadeen. Good, good, good. Which salad would you like? Which salad would you like? So we have dinner salad, we have large house salad, we have tuna salad, we have a Chinese chicken salad, we have fruit salad with cottage cheese. Mmm, that sounds good. Okay, uh, Tran says, um, I'd like the tuna salad. So we, we want to put the, okay, we want to put the. Okay, Olga, I'd like the tomato salad. So let, let's put the. Okay. Um, via. So we want we want to put the. Okay. We want to put the. I'd like the tuna salad. I'd like the tomato salad. I'd like the Chinese chicken salad. Okay. Good. Avocado. I'd like the avocado salad. All right, Umesh, which salad would you like? I'd like the tuna salad. Tran? Okay, yeah, okay, good. I'd like the tuna salad, very good. Alice says, I'd like the vegetable salad. Good, good, good. Okay, let's see. Let's do some other. Um, the wok is stir fried. Okay, so. Do you know what a wok is? <laughs> Does everyone know? Like a wok is kind of like Chinese style cooking and it's the, the, the pan is kind of, it's kind of like a bowl and, and then they spin, so little oil and cook, cook the vegetables or whatever, um, fry it up with a little bit of oil on the wok. It's like a frying pan, but the shape is different. And so um, there's, we call it stir fry. And so it's, it's made with, uh, so it's served with rice and salad. And um, it's made with celery, onions, mushrooms, snow peas, bean sprouts, zucchini. So we have the calamari stir fry. Calamari is uh, octopus. I think calamari is, is fried octopus. We have chicken stir fry, steak stir fry, <clears throat> vegetable stir fry, shrimp stir fry, fish of the day stir fry, steak and broccoli stir fry. Okay, so which stir fry would you like? Which stir fry would you like? Okay, so which stir fry would you like? So would you like the 
the calamari stir fry? Would you like the chicken stir fry? Would you like the steak stir fry? Would you like the veggie stir fry? Would you like the shrimp stir fry? Would you like the fish of the day stir fry? Would you like the steak and broccoli stir fry? Oh, okay, so, okay, Kadeen, it's not, okay, the wok is what it's cooked in. So the, so actually you'd say, uh, which stir fry would you like? Okay, Kadeen, so it's not wok, from the wok, so the, the, those, the stir fry is cooked in a stir fry, or the, the, the stir fry is cooked in a wok. Okay, so uh, it, th those, those stir fries are made in a wok. So that the question is, which stir fry would you like? Tran has it. Tran says, which stir fry would you like? I'd like the shrimp stir fry. Very good. Hello, Corey. How are you? Mwah. Okay, Via, which stir fry would you like? I'd like the chicken stir fry. Very good. Olga says, I'd like the chicken stir fry. Very good. Idi Grande, hello. Umesh, which stir fry would you like? I would like the veggie stir fry. So, Umesh, you need to say the. Alice, you need to say the chicken stir fry. Oh, okay, uh, Nidan, it's not wok. Which stir fry would you like? So the stir fries are made in a wok. They are made in a wok. They are cooked in a wok. <clears throat> so actually, the group of foods are stir fry. So the category is stir fry. So which stir fry would you like? Okay, let's see. Han and, or Edward, I would like the steak stir fry. Very good. <clears throat> Air Lady. Which stir fry would you like? I would like the chicken stir fry. So chicken's popular. Chicken is the popular one. Oh, oh, okay, Nora, I would like the chicken salad with lettuce. <laughs> well, um, Nora, salad is always made with lettuce. So you would say, I would, I would like the chicken salad. Okay, Tran, which stir fry would you like? I'd like the steak and broccoli stir fry. <laughs> Very good. <clears throat> okay, Umesh, which stir fry would you like? Very good. I would like the chicken stir fry. Okay, that's good. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, Edward, I would like the fish stir fry. Okay, there you go, Kadeen. Very good. Which stir fry would you like? I'd like the shrimp stir fry. Very good. Hello, Mary. How are you? Nora, I would like the shrimp stir fry. So we need to say, I would like. Hello, Sewu. How are you? So we need to say, we need to say I would like. I would like. Okay, let's let's um, move on. Let's go over to uh, the burgers. <clears throat> let's go to the burgers, the hamburgers. So we have the. I'm going to make it a little larger. Okay, I'm going to make it larger. Okay, here we go. We got hamburgers, my favorite. Okay, which burger would you like? Which burger would you like? We have, I'm not, I don't know what the OB burger is. I don't know what that is. But we have teriyaki burger. The Cuz burger, that's avocado bacon and Swiss cheese. The, the Zeke burger, that's Louisiana hot sausage and cheese burger. We have the Lo Man's Burger, that's fried egg, bacon, and cheese. We have the Cheeseburger. We have Beans Burger, chili and cheese. So chili and cheese burger. We have 
guacamole and cheese burger. We have Ortega chili and cheese burger. And then we have lumpies, double, double, double meat, double cheese. Which burger would you like? Okay, Naidan. <clears throat> Which burger would you like? I'd like the cheeseburger. Yeah, cheeseburgers are, they're simple and the best. I, I agree, Naidan. Tran, which hamburger would you like? I'd like the cheeseburger. Yeah. Bella, I would like the guacamole and cheeseburger. Okay, good. So we, <clears throat> we want to say the. Cecilia, hello. Okay, cow. I'd like the cheeseburger. I'd like the. We need to put the, okay? So let's don't forget everybody. Here we go. I'd like the. I'd like the cheeseburger. I'd like the avocado burger. I'd like the teriyaki burger. Say with the OB burger. I don't know what that is. Maybe that's just a plain burger. I don't know. That's the name of the restaurant. So I don't know what goes on. A, I don't know what an OB burger is. What's included, right? So, so all hamburgers have, you know, the, the, the meat, right? The meat patty, bread, meat patty. But then they put um, other ingredients on it, right? And so like they put cheese on it. They put guacamole on it, right? So you can see here um, the, the hamburgers, it's a half pound of freshly, of freshly ground beef with mayonnaise, lettuce, tomato, onions, and pickles. So that's all, all of them have mayonnaise, lettuce, tomato, onion, pickles, and of course the beef. But then teriyaki, that's a sauce, teriyaki sauce. And then the, the Cuz burger that has avocado and Swiss cheese on it. The Zeke burger that includes hot sausage and cheese. So that you have a you have beef, sausage, cheese, lettuce, tomato, onions, pickles, mayonnaise. So those are all like extra ingredients. What's on the burger? What's on the on the beef patty. Cecilia, I'd like the cuz burger with bacon and avocado. Good. So we want to say the, everybody. We want the. Tran, which burger would you like? I'd like the OB burger. Okay, good. Okay, Mary, I'd like the cheeseburger. Yeah, I like the simple burgers, yeah. Because I, I like the beef and the lettuce and tomato and onions and pickle. And just a, some cheese, you know, to make it, give it a little different flavor. But I like the beef and the, the lettuce, tomato. I like the simple taste. Alice, I would like the Lumpy's Double Double. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Alice is very hungry. She wants two patties of, she wants double meat and double cheese. Whoa, Alice is hungry today. Olga, I like the bacon and cheese burger. Nora, I like the guacamole cheese and bacon burger. Mmm, sounds delicious. Actually, I like guacamole is avocado. Yeah, I like avocado. I like avocado. Yeah, Umesh, which burger would you like? I would like the guacamole cheeseburger. That sounds delicious. Okay, good, good, good. Sharma, hello. Mary wants, I'd like the cuz burger. So she wants avocado, bacon, and Swiss cheese. That sounds delicious. Ah, okay, samosa. I'd like the samosa burger. Okay, Katie, 
Which burger would you like? I'd like the low man's burger and the lumpies. Double, double, please. I'm starving. Whoa. Ho, 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 ho. So the low man's burger, you got fried egg, bacon, and cheese. And the lumpies, double, double. You got double meat, double cheese. That's a lot. Air lady, which burger would you like? I would like the cheeseburger. Yeah, the simple one. Okay, let's look at... Oh, no, Sharma doesn't like hamburgers. Cecilia, I would like the cheeseburger, too. Um, Sharma, you can just practice. Even though you don't like hamburgers, you should practice, right? You can just practice. Umesh, the low man's burger, fried egg, bacon, and cheese. Okay, let's look at some others here. Okay, these are sandwiches, hand foods. These are sandwiches. Well, hmm, they're not all sandwiches. Most of them are sandwiches. I have to make it a little smaller. Most of these are sandwiches. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's look at these right here. We got, let's look at these. Okay, here we go. Let, let's, so let's, we have a choice. One, two, three, four, we have five sandwiches. Let's look. Let's look at the sandwiches, these five sandwiches. For example, um, hey, William, thank you so much. So we have these five sandwiches. So the question is, which sandwich would you like? We have the California Chicken Club. That is grilled fresh chicken breast with Swiss cheese, bacon, mayonnaise, avocado, <coughs> sprouts on a French roll. We have the cold turkey tuna roast beef with mayonnaise, lettuce, and tomato on a choice of rye, wheat, sourdough, or fresh roll. <clears throat> we have grilled pastrami sandwich, grilled pastrami and Swiss cheese on rye with hot mustard. <clears throat> we have the BLT sandwich, bacon, mayonnaise, lettuce, and tomato. <clears throat> on wheat toast and we have the earth sandwich swiss cheese mayonnaise avocado bean sprouts tomato lettuce and onion served on a french roll so we let's look at those five sandwiches <clears throat> which sandwich would you like we have california club or california chicken club we have cold turkey tuna roast beef we have grilled pastrami, we have BLT, and we have an earth sandwich. Which sandwich would you like? Okay, Cecilia, I would like the California Chicken Club. That sounds very good. Grilled fresh chicken breast with Swiss cheese, bacon, mayonnaise, avocado, and sprouts on a French roll. That sounds very delicious to me. <clears throat> Dang, which sandwich would you like? I'd like the earth sandwich. Yeah, that's another, all these are good. Yeah, earth sandwich, Swiss cheese, mayonnaise, avocado, bean sprouts, tomato, less onion. So there's no meat, right? So the earth sandwich does not have meat. That is a vegetarian sandwich. Alice, which, okay, okay, Alice, sandwich, okay, so we're doing, it says hand food because we use your hands to eat it, right, so there's called it hand food, but um, we're looking at these five sandwiches, California Chicken Club, cold turkey tuna roast beef sandwich, grilled pastrami sandwich, BLT sandwich, earth sandwich. Which one would you like? Nora, 
I would like the BLT, bacon, mayonnaise, lettuce, and tomato on wheat toast. Good choice, Nora. That's a great choice. Mary says, I would like the California Chicken Club, please. Good choice. All these are good choices. All five of these are look delicious. Hannah says, I would like the Earth Sandwich. Tran, which sandwich would you like? I would like the California Chicken Club. Umesh, which sandwich would you like? I would like the Earth Sandwich. Yeah, so that's the vegetarian sandwich, no meat. There's no meat there. Kayleen, which sandwich would you like? I'd like the BLT, please. These are all delicious, all sound good. No wrong, no bad choices, no bad choices for sure. Okay, Alice, which sandwich would you like? I would like the California Chicken Club. Hannah, I would like the grilled pastrami sandwich. Actually, I love pastrami. I love pastrami. So, yeah, I mean, difficult for me, it would, it's a difficult choice. It's a difficult choice for me. I guess it depends how, how much I want to eat, right? Because I think the, the cold turkey tuna roast beef, that's a lot of meat. Um, I'm sure that the California Chicken Club is, is filling. All these have a lot of food. Okay, good, good. Umesh, which sandwich would you like? I would like the cold turkey sandwich. Yeah, that, oh, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Okay. That's good. I think that's good. Let's, that was fun. <laughs> so here, we're just practice ordering food. Yeah, so we, we practiced ordering food, right? So the, the, the server says, uh, which salad would you like? Which uh, burger would you like? Which sandwich would you like? And then, oh, I'd like the uh, chicken, Chinese chicken salad, please. Which, which burger would you like? Oh, I'd like the cheeseburger, please. Um, which, oh, stir fry, we did stir fry, right? We also, which stir fry would you like? Oh, I'd like the shrimp stir fry, please. Um, which burger would, oh, we did burger. Which sandwich would you like? Oh, I would like, I'd like the BLT, please. Yeah, okay, good, good, good. All right, so I think we need, I'm looking at the clock, we need to change activities, okay? We, let's change, oh! Umesh was in the restaurant business. His father had a restaurant. Nice. So it's very difficult business, right, Umesh? It's a, it's a tough business, I think, restaurants. Okay, let's go to activity number two, and that is a conversation from my book, 50 Very Short Conversations. Here they are. There's a link for them in the descriptions if you want to order one for yourself. Okay, conversation. Activity number two is conversation. And let's see, page 48, here is the conversation. So um, we'll do, I think, maybe three or four steps. Step one, I'm going to read the conversation to you. You're going to listen. Then step two, I will write the conversation on the board. We will practice pronunciation. We will practice speed. We will go slowly and quickly. We will talk about the meaning and we will take turns. Okay, so that's what we'll do. So here we go. Step one, I'm going to read the conversation. So um, please listen carefully. Okay, and I will read the conversation three times. I will read it three times. I always do things in three. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Please listen carefully. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. How much do you want? Sorry, 
I don't take milk in my coffee. You drink it black? Yes, I like it that way. Not me. I like cream and sugar. That's too sweet for me. Okay, here we go. Second time. <clears throat> How much do you want? Sorry, I don't take milk in my coffee. You drink it black? Yes, I like it that way. Not me. I like cream and sugar. <clears throat> That's too sweet for me. Okay, here we go. Third time. <clears throat> How much do you want? Sorry, I don't take milk in my coffee. You drink it black? Yes, I like it that way. Not me. I like cream and sugar. That's too sweet for me. Okay, so that was the conversation. So here it is. So it starts here, and then we come down here, A, B, A, B. Okay, so I'm going to write it on the board so we can all do it together. Here we go. So A, B, A, B. A says, how much do you want? How much do you want? Okay, so this, you can see from the picture, right? So he's pouring the milk in the cup. So oh, how much do you want? Oh, stop, that's enough, right? So a lot of times um, we, we, we use our eyes to see how much, right? So like, oh, how much sugar do you want? Oh, stop, that's good. So it's not an exact amount, right? It's not exact. It's just like, oh, okay, stop, that's enough. That's enough. More, please. Okay. More, please. More. Keep going. Keep going. Ah! Right? And, and so um, here, the person's just pouring it into the cup. And so, so like, oh, how much do you want? B, B says, sorry. I don't take... I don't take <clears throat> milk in my coffee, in my coffee. Sorry, I don't take milk in my coffee. How much do you want? Sorry, I don't take milk in my coffee. How much do you want? Sorry, I don't take milk in my coffee. So here, the person who has the milk, ambulance, okay. <clears throat> so the person has the milk in their hand. Okay, how much do you want? Oh, sorry, I don't take milk in my coffee, right? How much do you want? Sorry, I don't take milk in my coffee. So no milk. Okay, continue. A continues down. A says, you drink it black? You drink it black? Question. So <clears throat> A surprised, right? So A says, how much do you want? B says, sorry, I don't take milk in my coffee. A says, you drink it black? You drink it black? So Wow, so surprised. You drink it black? B says, Yes, I like it that way. Yes, I like it that way. Okay, yes, I like it that way. So, that way meaning I like it black. <laughs> you like it that way, meaning you like it black. All right, so A, how much do you want? 
Sorry, I don't take milk in my coffee. You drink it black? Yes, I like it that way. You drink it black? Yes, I like it that way. You drink it black? Yes, I like it that way. And then A says, Not me. I like cream and sugar. Not me. I like cream and sugar. Cream and sugar. Okay. <clears throat> so, you, oh, yes, I like it that way. Not me. I like cream and sugar. Yes, I like it that way. Not me. I like cream and sugar. Yes, I like it that way. Not me. I like cream and sugar. And then B says, That's too sweet for me. That's too sweet for me. Okay, so that's the conversation. <clears throat> okay, so let's practice. <clears throat> so, not me. I like cream and sugar. That's too sweet for me. Not me. I like cream and sugar. That's too sweet for me. Okay, so let's go from the beginning here. How much do you want? So the person has milk. Sorry, I don't take milk in my coffee. So we say, like, I don't take sugar. I don't take milk. So meaning, I don't use milk or sugar in my coffee. I don't use milk or sugar. I don't use milk or sugar. Okay, I don't use milk. How much do you want? Sorry, I don't take milk in my coffee. I don't, I don't put milk in my coffee. I don't use milk in my coffee. I don't, I don't like milk in my coffee. Sorry, I don't take milk in my coffee. You drink it black? Yes, I like it that way. Not me. I like cream and sugar. I like cream and sugar. That's too sweet for me. That's too sweet for me. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, hey, learner 32. Okay. Nora says, I like coffee before lunch. Oh, Tran says, I rarely drink black coffee. I like it that way. <laughs> okay, good, good. Okay, now um, let's let's go slowly and quickly. Okay, let's go, let's go over pronunciation. We'll go slowly and quickly. All right. So let's first we'll go slow, then we'll go fast, okay? How much do you want? 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 Sorry, I don't take milk in my coffee. Sorry, I don't take milk in my coffee. Sorry, I don't take milk in my coffee. Okay, we'll go faster. Sorry, I don't take milk in my coffee. 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 You drink it black. You drink it black. You drink it black. Okay, we'll go faster. You drink it black. You drink it black. You drink it black. Yes, I like it that way. Yes, I like it that way. Yes, I like it that way. We'll go a little faster. Yes, I like it that way. Yes, I like it that way. Yes, I like it that way. Okay, next. Not me. I like cream and sugar. Not me. I like cream and sugar. 
Not me. I like cream and sugar. Okay, we'll go a little faster. Not me. I like cream and sugar. Not me. I like cream and sugar. Not me. I like cream and sugar. I like cream and sugar. I like cream and sugar. Not me. I like cream and sugar. Okay, and then the last one. That's too sweet for me. 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 Okay, let's go a little faster. That's too sweet for me. 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 Okay, good, good, good. Okay, so we we practiced pronunciation. We practiced speed. We went slowly and quickly. Uh, we talked about the meaning. Now let's role play. Okay, let's be the conversation. I will I will be A and you will be B. A B A B. I will say A. You say B. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. We'll do it three times. I will go A three times, and then we will switch. Then you will be A three times. Okay, so here we go. I'm A, you are B. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. How much do you want? You drink it black? Not me. I like cream and sugar. <laughs> All right, good one, good, good. Okay, let's do it second time. I'm A, you are B. <clears throat> Count down. Five, four, three, two, one. How much do you want? You drink it black? Not me. I like cream and sugar. <laughs> okay, good, yeah. Okay, here we go. Third time, I'm A, you are B. Five, four, three, two, one. How much do you want? You drink it black? Not me. I like cream and sugar. Okay, good, good, good. <clears throat> now let's switch. You are A, I am B. You say A, I say B. Okay, here we go. You're, you're A, you start. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Sorry, I don't take milk in my coffee. Yes, I like it that way. That's too sweet for me. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. All right, one more time. Or it's, here we go. Second time, you're A, I am B. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Sorry, I don't take milk in my coffee. Yes, I like it that way. That's too sweet for me. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. All right, let's do it. Here's the third time. You are A, I am B. Here we go. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Sorry, I don't take milk in my coffee. Yes, I like it that way. That's too sweet for me. <laughs> okay, good, good. Yeah, good job, good job. That's always fun. All right, as in the book, we have our, our conversation, yeah? And then over here, there's some extra practice. So let's do some of that extra practice. And here is the extra pack practice, the extra practice, extra practice. That's kind of hard to say, huh? Extra practice, extra practice. Okay, here we go. Here is the extra practice. Here's a pattern. Let's practice this pattern. I like... in on my okay that's the pattern so for example okay i so for example i like hmm peanut butter 
I like peanut butter on my toast. For example, okay, so tell me what you like. So I like peanut butter on my toast. Or you could say, oh, I like um, in my, hmm, I, oh, I like fruit in my oatmeal. I like fruit in my oatmeal. I like fruit in my oatmeal. Okay? So, in or on. Okay, okay. Umesh, on. I like butter on my bread. Okay, so, for example, I like fruit in my oatmeal, I like peanut butter on my toast. Okay, I like in my, I like mm, on my. Okay, here we go. Nora, I like Nutella and fruit on my toast. Okay, I've never had Nutella. I know what that is, but I've never tried it. Uh, Nora, okay, that was Nora, okay. Olga. I like lemon in my tea. Very good. Mary says, I like ginger in my green tea. Umesh, I like cornflakes. No, 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 no. Umesh, I like milk on my cornflakes. I like milk on my cornflakes. One more time, Umesh. I like milk on my cornflakes. Yes, yes, cow. So the opposite of sweet is bitter. The opposite of sweet is bitter. Yeah, so I like bitter. Like I like my coffee bitter. I like um, bitter chocolate. So I have, I like most things bitter, I guess. But I like something sweet. Of course, ice cream. I like ice cream. That's sweet. I like Pie, that is sweet. Okay, Bella, I like fried vegetables on my rice. Very good. Alice, I like butter on my toast. Good, everyone. Hey, Tina, how are you, Tina? What do you like on your toast? Or what do you like in your cereal, for example, uh, 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 Tina? Umesh, I like sugar in my tea. Very good. Via... Oh, I like my iPad on my desk. I like my iPad on my desk. Alice, I like milk in my tea. Hello, Dang. Tina, I like pizza on my toast. Uh, Hannah, or uh, Edward, I like milk in my coffee. Umesh, I like milk on my cornflakes. I like marmalade on my toast. Ooh, marmalade. Sometimes I like sometimes I like marmalade. Sometimes. Alice says, I don't like milk in my coffee. There you go. Me too. I like it black. I like it that way. <laughs> Susan, sorry, I don't take milk in my coffee. Hello, Anna. Okay, Hernando, I like cinnamon in my coffee. Wow. Actually, I like cinnamon on my toast. Butter cinnamon is good. 
on my toast. Nora, I like peanut butter with jelly on my toast too. Yeah. I like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I like, actually I like um, peanut butter and banana on my toast. I like peanut butter and banana on my toast. Okay. Oh, Joe, I like banana in my cereal. I do too. Sonia, I like cream in my Oreo shake. Mary, I like sugar in my black coffee. Well, then it's not black, Mary. No, no, no. Black coffee is no, no milk, no sugar, only coffee. Okay, Mary? So, don't, if sugar is in your coffee, it is not black. I like cheese in my, I'm not sure what that is. Umesh, I like a little salt in my lemonade. Wow, okay, a little salt. Joel, I like milk on my cereal. So we say on, right? So you have your bowl, you put the cereal, and then you put milk on your cereal. So I like milk on my cereal. I like milk on my cereal. Oh, Cecilia, I like avocado in my cereal. Wow, not, I like, I like avocado on my toast. Okay, Air Lady, I like sugar and cream in my coffee. Good sentence. Joel, I don't take milk in my coffee. Good. Linda, I like milk in my coffee. Marta, I like cinnamon powder in my coffee. Sonia, I like ice cream in my mango shake. Dang, I like, oh, cons, cons, what is that? Condensed milk in my coffee. Oh, that's super sweet. Umesh, I like fruit in my salad. Mary, I like cheese in my burger. Good. Alice, I like bacon and avocado on my sandwich. Good. Sam, you guys are doing great. I like these sentences. Via, I like sugar on my, in my milk. And it's not bitter. Okay, Via, in my milk. Tina, I like milk in my coffee. Air Lady, my favorite coffee is Tim Horton. Yeah, I, we don't have Tim Horton in Japan, but I've had Tim Norton's, Tim Horton's coffee. It's pretty good. I like cheese in my sandwich. I like lemon in my tea. I like chia seeds in my green juice. I like, Joe, I like chia seeds in my oatmeal. So I put chia seeds in my oatmeal. Kelly, I like lettuce in my sandwich. Linda, I don't like sugar in my black coffee. I like chat masala on my fruit. I don't know what that is. Um, pour, no, pour and take is different. Okay, that's, that's a good question. Pour, so you pour milk into your coffee. You pour milk on your cereal. So pour is the act of doing, right? You're doing it. Where take is like, um, don't use, okay? So use. So for example, here, I don't take milk in my coffee. I don't use milk. I don't um, put milk in my coffee. Maybe put in, take means put in. So I take coffee or I take milk in my coffee. I take milk in my coffee. Oh, I put milk in my coffee. I take sugar in my coffee. I put sugar in my coffee. I don't take sugar in my coffee. I don't put sugar in my coffee. So pour and take, it, it, it's different. But good question, good question. I like cheese, in, okay, on my bread, Air Lady. I like cheese on my bread. Oh, Tina, I like chicken on my toast, very good. William. Right, right. so William's surprised too. So black, I take it black, there's nothing, only, only your coffee. So my coffee's black, meaning, 
There's nothing else. So I don't know. You can't see. But um, my coffee is black, no sugar, no milk, no cream, no sweetener, nothing. So uh, black means only sh uh, coffee, only coffee. No, nothing else. No cinnamon, no hazelnut cream, nothing. Only coffee. Okay, I like ham and cheese on my bread. Joel, I like sugar in my chia, or chai tea, sorry, Joel, chai tea. I like fruit in my ice cream. Sometimes I like tuna in my sandwich. I like cheese in my soup. Wow, Kelly likes cheese in her soup. Uh, Sonia, I like pumpkin seeds in my cereal. Oh, okay. I like pumpkin seeds, but hmm, okay. I like avocado on my toast. Yes, Mary, I do too. Some mayonnaise and avocado on my toast is very delicious. I like pomegranate in my salad. I like pomegranate too, Umesh. I like lemon. I like lemon tea with more lemon. <laughs> or I like, I like, I put extra lemon in my lemon tea. I, I like extra lemon in my lemon tea. I like extra lemon in my lemon tea. Okay, I'm looking at the clock. We got to, oh, the poll. That's a good time right now. And we have to change activities. So actually, this is a good time to do the poll. Thank you, Mary. Good time to do that. Good timing. My pens are running out of ink. Okay, this one's okay. Okay, let's do the poll, shall we? Okay, so we have to change. I'm looking at the clock. We need to change activities. But great, great sentences, everyone. Uh, we practiced a conversation. And then we did some extra, this pattern I like. For example, peanut butter on my toast. <clears throat> I like fruit in my oatmeal. Okay, so let's, and then um, which would you like? For example, which burger would you like? And then choice, right? So which means choice. Which is choice. And um, let's look at the chat on top of the, let's look at the, uh, let's look at the poll on the top of the chat. It's a blue box, 65 people voted. Mwah, thank you so much, everyone. And the question is, which burger would you like? Which burger would you like? And we have four choices, four choices. I'd like the teriyaki burger. I like the cheeseburger. I like the avocado burger. I like the Ortega chili burger. Here we go one more time. The choices are <clears throat> I like the teriyaki burger. I like the cheeseburger. I like the avocado burger. I like the Ortega chili burger. Okay, those are the four choices. And the number one choice, and I had an idea that this would be number one, that is cheeseburger. 64% of you said, I'd like the cheeseburger. Then the second choice, teriyaki burger. Which burger would you like? I'd like the teriyaki burger, that was 21%. 12%, third choice, I'd like the avocado burger. <coughs> Which burger would you like? I'd like the avocado burger. And the fourth, only 3%, very low, very low. 3% said I like the Ortega chili burger. So Ortega chili, that's a big um, green chili, chili pepper. It's a big green chili pepper. It's sweet. It's not, it's not, it's not spicy. The Ortega chili is not spicy. It's sweet, so it's a sweet pepper. Okay, good job, everyone. Thank you for doing the poll, and we're 
we practice choosing food in a restaurant. Choosing food in a restaurant, right? You have to make a choice. You open the menu in a restaurant and you have to make a choice. Which burger would you like? You have to choose one. <clears throat> Which salad would you like? You have to choose a salad. Which soup would you like? You have to make a choice. Which which, which pizza would you like? You have to make a choice. So um, that's always, um, sometimes it's a problem, right? Or even deciding which restaurant to go to, right? You're at home, your family, you, you want to go out to eat, but you have to decide which restaurant are you going to go to? And sometimes it's difficult to make um, a choice. Like, especially like my family, you know, maybe I want, let's say, oh, like my wife, she says, I do not want to cook. Let's go out to eat. I go, okay, uh, where do you want to go? And she goes, I don't know. And then um, my girl, I have two girls. Where do you want to go? I don't know. And then I make a decision. Okay, let's go to the Indian restaurant. It goes, no, I don't want to, I don't, I don't feel like Indian food. Okay. How about let's go to the Chinese restaurant? No, I don't want to go. I don't feel like Chinese. So it's very difficult for us to choose a restaurant. Everyone together um, having the same, um, the same idea. It's very difficult <laughs> in my family. Okay, good, good, good. All right, so let's go to our third activity. This is an idiom, okay, idiom and we're going to look at some examples, and you're going to write your own sentence based on the idiom. So this is number three, right? One, two, this is three. So it's an idiom, and the idiom is best, best, wait, 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 wait. First rate, first rate. First rate, first rate means best quality. Okay, first rate, that means best quality. So we're gonna practice the idiom first rate. And we're gonna look at some example sentences from the green team, okay? So there, they made sentences. We're gonna look at their sentences and um, then you will make your own sentences. So let's look at the green team sentences. There it is. There we go. Oh, and, and you can get this worksheet. The PDF file is on my Patreon page, and then the, the JPEG is on my YouTube homepage. So the PDF file is here, Patreon. There's a, a link for it in the descriptions, and then the, the JPEG is on my um, homepage. There's a link for that one as well in the descriptions. So if you want your own copy, right? So on top, you have the example sentences. And then on the bottom, you have, you have um, space to write your own sentences. Okay, so it's a worksheet. So you can practice. Let's look at the green team. Okay, so first rate. That means the best quality. And then we have Marion, Marion's sentence. I think you look first rate. I think you look first rate. I think you look first rate. And then Raj says, Mark Kulik's YouTube English class is first rate. <laughs> Great. Uh, Mark, Kulik's Mark Kulik's YouTube English class is first rate. Best gamer. Real Madrid is a first-rate football club. Real Madrid is a first-rate football club. Air Lady, he is a first-rate actor. He is a first-rate actor. Miley, in Italy, there are many first-rate restaurants. In Italy, there are many first-rate restaurants. Lolly says, are the first-rate students part of the green team? Are the first-rate students part of the green team? Mary says, 
This is a first-rate idea to expand our range of products. This is a first-rate idea to expand our range of products. Fabricio, the room service in this place is absolutely first-rate. The room service in this place is absolutely first-rate. Julia, Andrew only gets his haircut from Tom because Tom is first rate. Andrew only gets his haircut from Tom because Tom is first rate. Oh, thank you, Mary. Okay, so these are example sentences. So now in the chat, it's time for you to write your sentences. Okay, let's see your sentences using first rate. Joel says, the service in this restaurant is first rate. Very good, Joel. Nice sentence, Joel. Let's see your sentences. Oh, Julia, it's no-brainer. People voted for the cheeseburger. I agree. <laughs> Good one, Julia. Okay, Umesh, Indian goods are first rate. All right. Good sentence, Alice. Oh, no. My friend is a first-rate doctor. Nice. Good, Mary. Okay, Joel. In Manhattan, there are many first-rate hotels. Very good. So that's New York. I think Joel's talking about Manhattan. Is New York Manhattan? Oh, Phil, thank you. Mark Kulik is the first rate on YouTube class. Thank you. Uh, our air lady, he has the making of a first rate lawyer. Very good, air lady. Nice sentence. Okay, Chan, Andy Warhol is a first rate artist. Yeah. Yes, New York. Because Joel, actually, I'm from Manhattan Beach. That's in California, that's in Los Angeles. So actually, my hometown is Manhattan Beach. Okay, Umesh, the restaurant is first rate in service. Good. Or that, sorry, sorry, Umesh. That restaurant is first rate in service. Nice. Tetsuro, hello. Susan, I like milk in my, okay. Brenda, this meat is first rate. Good. All right, everybody. You're welcome, air lady. Okay, Joel, my friend is a first rate realtor. Good. Oh, okay, Umesh. Example sentences. Example means um, a way showing you how to do it. Okay, so example, show you how to do it. So these um, sentences by Mary, Raj, Best Gamer, Air Lady, Miley, Lolly, Mary, Fabrizio, Julia, they are showing you how to write this sentence. The, using, they're showing you how to use first rate in a sentence. Marta Tequila is first rate drink in Mexico today because... We are celebrating Independence Day. Isn't Cinco de Mayo, isn't that independence in Mexico? Cinco de Mayo? I'm not sure. But yeah, tequila is a first-rate drink in Mexico. Yeah, tequila is a. Uh. So you need, Marta, you need a. Uh. Tequila is a uh, first-rate drink. 
Tina, why does first rate sound like first grade? <laughs> I don't know. It does. Yeah, first rate, first grade. It does sound a little, they do sound um, sim, uh, similar. Because they both, they both start with first. So the first sound is the strongest, and the second sound is not as strong as the first. So first rate, first grade. So they do sound alike. You're right, Tina. In the future, you, wait, 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 Nora. In the future, you have the first rate at the pool. Okay, okay, I'm not sure, Nora, one more time. I don't know what you mean by that. Joel, Ben Affleck is a first rate actor. Good, ah, uh, first rate. That's good, using ah. Uh. Mary, this is a first rate seaside hotel. Very good. All right, Seiru, the Korean Squid Game is a first rate on the Netflix. Okay, okay, um, first rate series. Yeah, it's a, it's a TV series, a TV show. So, uh, Seiru, um, the Korean Squid Game is a first rate series on Netflix. The Korean Squid Game is a first rate series on Netflix. Umesh, Indian cricket team is first rate morale. Oh, okay, Umesh, like the, the Indian cricket team has a first rate morale. The Indian cricket team has a first rate morale. Olga, she is a first rate cook. Nice, Kadeem. The shop is first rate. Yes, Kadeem. Kelly, that hotel is first rate. Good. Okay, Brenda, okay, so I wasn't sure. Okay, so today is Mexico's independence. Congratulations. Okay, uh, May 5th is the, a battle. Okay, a, a victory probably. Yeah, okay, thank you, Brenda. Thank you for that. Yeah, I, I, thought, I thought May 5th was Mexico's independence, but okay. I think maybe, maybe a lot of Americans think that. Yeah, I don't know why. Maybe because July 4th is our independence, so we think May 5th is Mexico's independence. I don't know. I... But today is. Okay, congratulations, Mexico. Viva Mexico. Viva Mexico. Me Me Mexico. Viva Mexico. Okay, good. Nice sentences. My daughter Myrna is the first rate in my. Okay, you don't need the, Hannah or um, Edward. My daughter Myrna is first rate in my family. So we don't use the with um, proper nouns, people's names. Oh, uh, you're welcome. Sewu. Sewu, my thank you for supporting me, Sewu. Thank you for supporting me. I really, really appreciate it, Sewu. I'm that is the truth. A hundred percent true, Sewu. I appreciate you. I appreciate the green team for supporting me. Via, he gets a first-rate idea of solving this problem. Okay, okay, Via, he has a first-rate idea of solving this problem. So he gets, not he gets, he has. He has a first-rate idea. Nora, I have the first-rate. Okay, I have a first-rate cook in my home. Nora, I have a first-rate cook in my home. Okay, Umesh, I'm a first-rate mathematician. Oh, nice. I wish I was. I'm, I'm not. <laughs> I'm far from that. Okay, Joel, this nail salon offers first-rate service. Good sent, Joel, you have great sentences. Wild Live, hello. 
Okay, Cecilia, my son got first rate in his biology. Okay, we would say, my son got first rate marks or first rate grades in his biology class. Cecilia, my son got first rate grades in his biology class. Yes, viva Mexico. Joel, the barbershop has first rate service. Nice. Mary, uh, the food in this restaurant was first rate. Good. Phil, my son is a first rate student. My son is a first rate student. Okay, so real quick here. Okay, this is a, a good time to talk about this because it is hard using ah, uh, okay, and when to use ah uh, and when not to use ah. Uh. So um, with ah, uh, we use with a noun, and if it's a uh, if it's a adjective, we don't use ah, uh, right? So we have a couple examples in the chat of that. So um, service, let's say service is an um, is an adjective. Let's see. Hold on. Okay. Ah. Uh, um. No services. Hold on. What, okay. So for example, Joel says. This nail salon offers first-rate service. And then we have, um, uh, hold on, okay. I, I think it maybe it's case by case. Um, let me find some examples of ah. Uh. Okay, so I have a uh, first-rate cook in my home. I have a first-rate cook in my home. This restaurant is first-rate. Okay, uh, I think it's case by case. Case by case. I have to think about it, the differences. So I need to um, think about it. I have to get back to you later. Mark is first rate in teaching English. Oh, thank you. Einstein students are also first rate scientists. Hernando Mark's training is first rate. Joel, my housekeeping service is first rate. Very good, Joel. Alice, I have a first rate place in my country, good. Okay, let's see, Lucy uses first rate cosmetic products for her job as an actress. Wow, nice sentence. Vanitha, very good. Wow, her baking skills is first rate. Oh, okay, thank you so much. Via Mark's English class is first rate. Thank you so much. Okay, I'm looking at the clock. We need to change activities. Um, you can get this worksheet. You can get this worksheet on my Patreon, the PDF file, and the JPEG is on my YouTube homepage. Okay, so you can um, get this. For yourself, you can download it and um, practice more in your home, okay, at another time. And the Patreon, it's a way to support me and get worksheets. And the worksheets are on Patreon are PDF. And so PDF files are easy for you to um, <clears throat> put on your computer to download. And then on my YouTube homepage, it's a JPEG. It's a picture of this but you can also see it too. Okay, um, let's change activities. Now we're going to watch a video, 10 very short conversations. We're gonna watch a video and then practice 
those um, short conversations together, okay? So part one, we're going to um, say the sentences together, okay? We're gonna shadow. And then part two, we will take turns, okay? And then we will talk about the, the sentences, the meaning, okay? So um, let's do it. Oh, Joel, tomorrow. So today's Friday, so the next live stream class is tomorrow. So um, yeah, we're changing activity, Tetsuro. So Joel, we have um, three a week, three a week, Tuesdays, 5 p.m., Fridays, Saturdays, Ten AM Japan time. Okay, so on Tuesdays, five PM Japan time, Fridays today, ten AM, tomorrow Saturdays, ten AM. So three a week. Okay. Ah, oh, Katie, your classes are for thank you so much. I do my best. Sometimes they don't turn out as well as I want them to, but thank you. I try hard. Okay, let's check out a video. Let's check out the video. Okay, making it full screen. Full screen. Okay, so the first part, I want you to say the sentences with me. Okay, we're in a shadow. Here we go, we're gonna shadow. Okay, 10 very short conversations, 37. Okay, here we go, let's. Okay, here we go, let's say the sentences together. Yeah, Tetsuro, from next week I'm back at university. So my summer break is finished, my summer break is over now, Tetsuro. I go back at I go back to my university on Monday. So we're back to three days a week. Okay, here we go. Have you seen my keys? Have you seen my keys? Have you seen my keys? Hello, Corey. Did you look under the table? Did you look under the table? Did you look under the table? Okay, good, Tetsuro. Have you seen my keys? Did you look under the table? Yes, I live in Japan, Cecilia. Fantastic office. Fantastic office. <clears throat> Fantastic office. Office. This is where I get my ideas. This is where I get my ideas. This is where I get my ideas. Fantastic office. This is where I get my ideas. There's someone at the door. There's someone at the door. There's someone at the door. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. There's someone at the door. I'll get it. What shall we do? What shall we do? What shall we do? There's a game on TV. There's a game on TV. <clears throat> There's a game on TV. What shall we do? 
there's a game on TV. What should I wear? What should I wear? <clears throat> what should I wear? Wear something nice. Wear something nice. Wear something nice. <clears throat> what should I wear? Wear something nice. It's time to clean the basement. <clears throat> it's time to clean the basement. It's time to clean the basement. I think you're right. I think you're right. I think you're right. It's time to clean the basement. I think you're right. Do you live in a house? Do you live in a house? Do you live in a house? Yes, I do. How about you? Yes, I do. How about you? Yes, I do. How about you? Do you live in a house? Yes, I do. How about you? What can I get you? What can I get you? What can I get you? <clears throat> I'll have a Coke, fries, and a burger. I'll have a Coke, fries, and a burger. I'll have a Coke, fries, and a burger. What can I get you? I'll have a Coke, fries, and a burger. I'm going to the market. I'm going to the market. I'm going to the market. Don't forget eggs and cheese. Don't forget eggs and cheese. Don't forget eggs and cheese. I'm going to the market. Don't forget eggs and cheese. What's this pattern? What's this pattern? What's this pattern? It's Paisley. It's Paisley. It's Paisley. What's this pattern? It's Paisley. <clears throat> okay, let's let's take turns. I will go first. I will be the blue sentences, and you will go second. You will be the black sentences. Have you seen my keys? Fantastic office. There's someone at the door. What shall we do? What should I wear?
What time? Oh, sorry. It's time to clean the basement. <laughs> oh, no. Do you live in a house? What can I get you? I'm going to the market. What's this pattern? Okay, let's switch. You will go first. You will be the blue sentences, and I will go second. I will be the black sentences. Did you look under? Did you look on the table? Did you look on the table? This is where I get my ideas. I'll get it. There's a game on TV. Wear something nice. I think you're right. Yes, I do. How about you? I'll have a Coke, fries, and a burger. Don't forget eggs and cheese. It's Paisley. Okay, I think that. Okay, let let's um talk. Yeah, that's that's the end. Yeah. Okay, let's let's talk about the meaning. Okay, so let let's. There's a few a few sentences here that I want to talk about. Okay, so let's let's um talk about some of the sentences. Okay. Okay, have you seen my keys? Did you look on the table? So I think this is um, pretty common, right? So it's easy to um, lose things, right? I don't know about you, but for me, it's easy to lose things. And so you ask someone in your house, have you seen my wallet? Have you seen my keys? Have you seen my sock? <laughs> my, I'm missing a sock. Have you seen my sock? Have you seen the kids, right? Where are the kids? Have you seen the kids? Um, have you seen the cat? Where's the cat, right? So have you seen? And then um, response, did you, okay? So, um, and, and that's, that means maybe they are on the table. Did you look on the table? Maybe they're on the table. Did you look? Um, did you look on the sofa, right? Oh, do, uh, what was the, have you seen? Yeah. Oh, have you seen the TV remote? Did you look on the sofa? Maybe it's on the sofa. Um, 
Have you seen my chopsticks? Oh, um, did you look in the kitchen? Okay, so um, have you seen? I can't find it. And then did you look? Maybe it's there. Okay. And then fantastic office. Fantastic means beautiful, uh, wonderful, right? So fantastic office. You know, it looks, it looks really nice, right? This is a nice office. It looks nice. You're lucky. And then, oh, this is where I get my ideas. So, so maybe, you know, uh, you, you have to, like, you know, make videos or, or you know, maybe you're a designer, something like that. You have, you think of ideas. That's your job to think of ideas. And this is where I get my ideas. So it's a, it's a beautiful office, lots of windows, sunshine. And so it's easy for me to um, get new ideas, to think of new, new things. Okay, there's someone at the door, I'll get it, right? So, so in this situation, you're, the person is not close to the door. They're not close to the door. Maybe they're in the kitchen, they're in the bedroom, they're in the bathroom, and they hear the doorbell, ding dong, ding dong, and, and then there's someone at the door, and then the other, oh, okay, I'll get it. I can't. I'm busy, right? I'm in the kitchen. I'm in the bathroom. I'm taking a shower, right? I'm going to the bathroom. I'm getting dressed. I hear the doorbell, but I can't get it, right? I can't answer the door. So the other person says, I will get it. I'll get it. I will open the door. I will see who is at the door. Okay. All right, so what shall we do? There's a game on TV, okay? So maybe there, it's a sporting game, right? There's a baseball game on TV. There's a soccer game on TV. So let's watch TV. What shall we do? Oh, there's a game. There's a basketball game. Let's watch the basketball game. What shall we do? There's a football game on TV. Okay, let's watch the football game. That's what we should do. Watch the game. What should I wear? Wear something nice. Okay, so here, so wear something nice. That means kind of not casual, right? So there's, uh, you know, how we, maybe, you know, if you work in an office, a business office, you have to wear a suit, right? If you work like in a school, you could be more casual. And let's say they're going out to dinner, the husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, for, they're going out to a, a, a good restaurant. And so he says, oh, what should I wear? And she says, oh, wear something nice. Like wear, wear your nice clothes. Don't wear your casual clothes. Don't wear your shorts. But you don't have to wear your suit either. Wear something nice. Wear something that, you know, it's between suit and casual something nice look good <laughs> wear some good clothes don't wear a t-shirt don't wear shorts wear a nice shirt wear nice pants wear nice shoes okay it's time to clean the basement I think you're right. Okay, so the basement's getting dirty, so let's let's clean it up. Good idea. Okay, do you live in a house? Yes, I do. How about you? So how about you? Returning the question, right? So how about you? You are returning the question. So let's say you're playing tennis, and, and so someone hits a hits the ball to you, and you hit it back. You're returning the ball. Returning the ball. So here, how about you? Returning the question. How old are you? Oh, I'm 59. How about you? Um, 
Where do you live? I live in Japan. How about you? So I'm returning the question, right? I like my coffee black. Or do you like your coffee black? Yes, I do. How about you? So I'm returning the question, okay? So you hit the question and I hit it back to you, okay? How about you? I am returning the same question. Okay. Okay, what can I get you? This is kind of this is a more casual restaurant. Okay. So, um this is more casual like fast food here. Which would you which this is more like sit what we did before, that's more a sit down restaurant open a menu. The 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 server, the the waiter asks Oh, which soup would you like? Which, you know, sal which soup would you like? Here, this is more of like a fast food, casual. The, the menu is on the wall, right? You walk in and the menu is on the wall. You don't have, you don't have a paper menu. It's all on the wall. You look and you, t you say what you want. So the, the staff, the the um, person, the counter person, the person work. So you walk up, there's a counter, register. Behind the, the register, behind the counter, the menu is on the wall. And so the, the staff says, what can I get you? And then you look and go, oh, I'll have uh, a Coke, fries, and a burger. So it's casual, right? Casual restaurant. No, you don't sit down. There's no waiter, no waitress, no server, no no menu. You just order from the wall. What can I get you? I'll have a Coke, fries, and a burger. Okay, I'm going to the market. Don't forget eggs and cheese. So here, this situation... I'm going to the market. So when I say I'm going to the market, you can, you can say that I'm going to the market or you could say I'm going to the market. Do you need anything? Okay. I'm going to the market. Do you need anything? Or you just say I'm going to the market and the other person, oh, you're going, don't, we, you know, we need eggs. We need milk. We need ice cream. Okay. Whatever. So don't forget eggs. Don't forget cheese. We need it. I'm going to the market. Don't forget eggs and cheese. Make sure. Be sure to buy cheese and eggs. Be sure. Don't forget. Make sure to buy eggs and cheese. Okay, and then pattern. What, what pattern is this? It's paisley. What pattern? What's this pattern? What's this pattern? It's paisley. It's Paisley. Okay. That that's it, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. You did it, everybody. We did it together. Yes, yes, yes. Good job. All right, those are four activities. Yeah, we did we did four. We did we formed a sentence. We practiced a conversation from my book. We did an idiom from the green team, and we just watched the video, 10 very short conversations. Good job, everyone. Yes, yes. I will be here tomorrow, Saturday, 10 a.m., this time tomorrow. So I was on summer break, and so I had free time, so we did, we, we did live streams on Mondays, and Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. For, we did like four a week or so. But now I'm back on my regular schedule. I go back to school on Monday. I have to teach at a university on Monday. So we're back to normal schedule. And in the descriptions, it tells you the schedule. So the schedule is Tuesdays, 5 p.m. Japan. I live in Japan, so it's Japan time. Fridays, 10 a.m. like today. And tomorrow, 10 a.m., this time tomorrow. So please come back tomorrow at this time, 10, 10 a.m., 
for another live stream class together. Yeah, you and me practicing English together. And actually in the chat, you guys are practicing with each other. You're learning from each other. So that's fantastic. And um, thank you so much, everyone, for worksheets in PDF Patreon. Please help me there. Actually, I have a website, markkulik.com, where there are worksheets, flashcards that go with videos. So it's a, it's a three set thing. How it works is before the video, you, you practice vocabulary with the flashcards, you watch the video, and then after the video, you do the worksheet. So that's how the website works. Flashcards before the video, watch the video, after the video, do worksheets. And um, yeah, and I have books at Amazon.com. So, and then join the green team. So please help me so I can help you, support me so I can support you. The links are in the description. Check those out. And um, thanks again. Mwah. Love and peace to you and your family. Smile. Stay healthy and be safe. Smile. Stay healthy, be safe. Smile, stay healthy, be safe, everyone. And I will be back tomorrow. Thank you so much. Love you. Green team, thank you for your kind, kind support. I really appreciate it. Come on, everybody. Be green. Check it out. Join the channel. Help me. Get your name in green. And join the wonderful green team. <laughs> okay. I will be back tomorrow. Let's count down to saying goodbye together. Okay, let's count down and say goodbye together. Here we go. Are you ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, thank you so much, everyone. I will be back here tomorrow. Take it easy. Bye. Thank you.